The primary goal should be trying to figure out what causes breast cancer and what can we do with the immune system to prevent it from happening at all. Imagine a world where breast cancer deaths are a thing of the past, thanks to revolutionary vaccines designed to treat existing cancers or prevent them from making a comeback. The promise of cancer vaccines, that's what we're getting into in this episode of Tomorrow's Cure, a podcast from Mayo Clinic that brings the future of medicine to the present. I'm Kathy Werzer. Thanks for being with us. We have a number of guests with us today. They include researchers who study cancer as well as oncologists who treat patients. Dr. Sarah Chumsri is joining us from Mayo Clinic. She's a medical oncologist and professor of oncology. Also with us from Mayo Clinic is Dr. Keith Knudsen. He's a professor of immunology and professor of cancer research. And finally, medical oncologist and researcher Dr. Nora Desis joins us from the University of Washington, where she's a professor of medicine. Really a pleasure to have all of you with us. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here. Good to be here. Yeah, thank you for having us. Say this podcast's title is, of course, Tomorrow's Cure. And so what do you think the next frontier is for this work? I think in the future, if we can have some form of, you know, cancer prevention, cancer interception, preventing cancer with the vaccine, um, you know, I, th- I think that's a, a big thing. And I, I hope to see that in my lifetime, hopefully. Dr. Knudsen, what do you think the next frontier is? You know, what's incredible now and really what the next frontier is, is our capabilities of interrogating human biology. It's just absolutely incredible with all of these, you know, new, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, AI systems and, and all kinds of big data sets that we can move through. So now we have just tremendous technologies, the abilities to sequence deep, um, you know, much more cost effectively and much more rapidly. And so the biggest frontier is to be able to use all these, you know, new, um, you know, computational approaches, I think, which will help uh, uncover some, just some terrific ideas that we can chase down and hopefully cure more cancers. When we look at some of the studies around uh, different types of breast cancers, uh, and when it comes to clinical trials, do you think that there is sufficient racial and ethnicity diversity in some of these trials and if if not how does that how does that change i think there's even a more fundamental question than that uh, when you look at it less than 10% of all cancer patients enroll on clinical trials so we're talking whether you're a minority or not a minority people don't enroll on clinical trials fundamentally a clinical trial is an, an ex, is an experiment, and it's a choice. When you look at basic science or all the science leading up to the development of cancer vaccines, we are moving at the speed of light. And then, bam, we hit clinical trials. And it's like a freight train going off a cliff. All of a sudden, the speed of research goes down to a crawl. We're all in this fight against cancer. And when I hear people say somewhere someone's got the cure and they're holding it back, it just makes my blood boil because I'm in an institution that is just crammed with people working their fingers off trying to figure out how to end cancer. So there's an army of scientists trying to figure this out, but we need a citizen army. So if I had a magic wand or if a genie came and said, you can have any wish about your research program, what would it be? I would say, make clinical trials go faster. And that means try to figure out a way to get more people to volunteer to be on clinical trials. If you'd like to learn more, you can watch this full episode of Tomorrow's Cure on the Mayo Clinic YouTube channel.